dear students today i begin the explanation with act 1 scene 3 in my previous lecture i have mentioned that the entire play takes place in venice as well as in belmont so from belmont we are shifting to venice in scene 3 where you come across the characters Bassanio and Shylock who are making their entry at a public place in Venice To understand this scene you have to keep in mind that Shylock the Jewish money lender is introduced in the scene He is depicted as the most powerful dramatic figure He has the hatred for antonio because antonio had ridiculed him insulted him for a number of years now when bassanio has come to bassanio has come to shylock with a request for lending the money shylock is foreseeing an opportunity to take revenge on antonio so you have to keep in mind that shylock is a cruel merjew and he is blood thirsty he is a blood thirsty jew which you will find later in the play let's begin with the play when the scene begins you find that there is conversation between shylock and bassanio related to 3000 ducats which is nothing but the venetian gold coins and bassanio says that he wants 3000 ducats for 3 months shylock repeats 3 months for which for the which as i told you antonio shall be bound so here it is being mentioned hmm, that antonio will act as the surety or the guarantor for 3000 ducats which shylock will be lending to bassani shylock says antonio shall be bound well so he repeats the word he repeats the word antonio shall become bound just because he wants to emphasize here that he understands that Hmm? Antonio shall be the surety for his lending of money. To which Bassanio is asking the questions. May you stead me? Will you pleasure me? Shall I know your answer? Now these questions mean, may you stead means help me. This is the first question which he is asking. Second is, will you oblige me? shall i know your answer so he wants to know the answer of shylock to which shylock replies 3000 ducats for 3 months and antonio bound these are the very important words uttered by, by shylock and which means that he is going to lend 3000 ducats for the period of 3 months and antonio will be the guarantor for lending the money Bassanio says your answer to that he wants the answer to which Shylock says Antonio is a good man the word good over here refers to Antonio being a wealthy man so financially Antonio is adequate as the surety Bassanio says have you heard any imputation to the contrary he is asking here have you heard any allegation hmm, to the contrary that is that he is not shylock says ho oh, no no my meaning in saying he is a good man is to have you understand me that he is sufficient so shylock says in these lines that he is a wealthy man hmm, and he is adequate enough financially as a guarantor guarantee yet his means are in supposition he says that he is a perfect guarantor 
but his business is at risk he had this agosi agosi means merchant ships bound to tripolis another to indus i understand moreover upon the rialto he had the third at mexico and fourth for india so the, these lines refer to the widespread of the business of antonio the merchant ships that antonio has they are present or they will be coming from tripolis indies mexico and england these are the four places from where the sh ships will be coming to venice so tripolis is the seaport which is located in north western libya on north african coast of mediterranean sea then mexico is located in north america and the, so these are the four places which you have to keep in mind tripolis indies mexico and england from these four places the ships will be coming to venice and other ventures he had squandered abroad so other ventures business investments he has useless uselessly scattered abroad but ships are but boards ships are nothing but planks of wood sailors but men sailors are men there be land rats water rats water thieves and land thieves so these could hmm, rats of land rats present in the water thieves present in the ocean and thieves of the land they could cause destruction or they could squander the ship the goods present in the ship i mean pirates and then there is perils of water winds and rocks so ships can also be destroyed by the stormy winds then rising waves and rocks or you can call it as icebergs present in the ocean the man is not withstanding sufficient 3000 ducats i think i may take his point so now he is clear he is clarifying here that just because his business is at risk he says that antonio is not sufficient to be accepted as the security for lending 3000 ducats and therefore he is insisting here that i would like to take his bond be assured you may i will be assured i may and that i may be assured i will bethink me may i speak with antonio so it's told over here i would like to be assured shylock says that he would like to be assured then i will bethink me that means i'll think over it again but i may also like to speak to antonio Pisanio says, "If it please you to dine with us." Now, this is a request made by Pisanio to Shylock to have the dinner with him. Shylock says, "Yes, to smell pork, to eat of the habitation which your prophet the Nazarite conjured into the de conjured the devil into. I will buy with you, sell with you." talk with you walk with you and so following but i will not eat with you drink with you nor pray with you what news on the rialto who is he comes here now you have to bear in mind the discrimination or the difference between the two races that is the jewish race and the christianity jews considered themselves to be superior than the christians which is very well reflected here in the in the verse of shylock so when besanio is requesting shylock to have the dinner he refuses to have the dinner with the christian he says here yes to smell pork now this is an ironical 
expression used here because the jews they did not prefer or they forbidden eating the meat of pig pork is nothing but the meat of the pig so they did not prefer eating the meat of the pig this was forbidden to the jews now he is giving the reason why to eat of the habitation which your prophet the nazareth conjured the devil into now why they don't eat the meat of the pig because they believe that jesus christ he healed a mad man and when he healed a mad man he ordered the devils that possessed within the body of the mad man to leave the mad man's body and enter into the body of the herd of pigs and that is why that is why they don't eat the pork so he says here i will buy with you sell with you talk with you i can do anything buying selling talking walking following everything i can do except eating drinking and praying with a christian then he is asking about the news on the rialto rialto is the stock exchange where the business transactions takes place in venice who is he comes here this is a question being asked who is coming here and you you are being informed about the entry of antonio besanio says this is signior antonio signior means noble so noble antonio makes the entry then you find shylock speaking these lines how like a fawning publican he looks i hate him for he is a christian he is speaking the, the word aside indicates that he is speaking these lines to himself he says that antonio looks like a fawning publican means fawning publican means he looks like a servile roman tax collector i hate him for he is a christian so this is the reason first reason which he is giving which shylock gives for hating antonio that he is a christian but more for that in low simplicity he lends out money gratis and brings down the rate of usance here with us in venice another reason which he gives for hating antonio is he is foolish enough to rate to lend the money without charging the interest so it's told that when antonio lends the money without charging interest it brings down the interest of money lending practice in venice because of which shylock is badly affected shylock and his money lending uh, business is by badly affected so this is the second reason first reason is christian and second reason is lending the money without interest hmm, for hating antonio if i can catch him once upon the hip i will feed fat the ancient grudge i bear him now in this line he says if i am able to hold him once upon the hip now this particular phrase is a metaphor used here for wrestling so if i get a chance to hold him i will satisfy the grievances that i have against antonio he hates our sacred nation and he rails even there where merchants most to congregate so he he refers here to antonio he is hating the jewish race he is abusing shylock or the jew hmm, at the rialto where the merchants most to congregate merchants hmm, they congregate means gather so rialto as i have already told you is the platform where the business transactions take place on me my bargains and my well won thrift 
so it's told here that uh, this one publicly he is shylock is being abused his business deals and my well won thrift hard earned gain all this is being commented hmm? uh, antonio comments against all this which he calls interest cursed be my tribe if i forgive him so finally he uh, he ends up the verse saying that if i forgive antonio then my race that is the jewish race will be cursed for forgiving antonio i stop here